the way. Here's Kevin Love and Darius Garland after the Cavalier loss. The intensity is a lot higher. Um, taking care of the ball, getting a good shot every possession. Um, just knowing time and score, trying to get stops. I mean, I learned a lot from this game. Um, I told you the other night, the last time we played Brooklyn, it felt like a, a playoff game. So, I mean, I got kind of acclimated to this one uh, from the last one. So, um, just another experience for us. Um, just watch the film and try to get better and get one Friday. As a team, you guys won all final three quarters of that one. Um, cut it to five, you know, in the fourth. Did you go to a different place like individually in the fourth quarter? Um, no, we just tried to just keep the, um, the competitive spirit up, um, try to defend a lot more physical and a lot more harder on, on the defensive end. Um, and then, like I said, just try to get good quality shots in the office and just take care of the ball. And then, Kevin, for you, was that first quarter deficit, do you think, just too hard to overcome? You know, obviously, you guys won the final three quarters. Or, or what did you – what was your biggest thing? Yeah, I think that was it. Just uh... – collectively throughout the first 12 minutes, uh, just getting at the deficit uh, that we were at um, after that quarter, being down 20 to a team that has such, um, you know, so much firepower and um, you really have to play well against on the defensive end to give yourself a shot. But, you know, the last three quarters, like you said, we that we played really well on the defensive end. Um, there were some things on, on the offensive end we wish we could have back in that first half, but that we played well on that end. It just was too much uh, for us to have to dig back, um, always pushing it to, you know, 14, 12, 10 points, and then they go on a little run, push it back. It just was a little bit too much for us in the end. But um, I think there's a lot of good takeaways for us, uh, you know, when, it, when we go back home and, um, you know, play a game that gives us a shot to, you know, win and get in. Were you impressed by Evan Mobley's composure for rookie in this game? Yeah, no, I think it was a, a great experience for, um, you know, a lot of guys to, including DG, to get their, their first, you know, feel of what playoff basketball uh, is and, and, and what it will be like. So, you know, Ev just has that quiet confidence about him. Um, he lets everything come to him. Um, you know, he doesn't force anything. So, uh, again, I think it was a good experience for him and a big chance for him to, to get that experience and get better. Kelsey versus the athletic Darius for you. Um, you scored the first nine points in that fourth quarter. Um, JB said that he's had conversations with you throughout the season about just like becoming more aggressive and, and wanting to do so in games. How have you continued to hone that throughout the season and, and use that tonight, I guess? Just try to pick my spots. Um, I know Kyrie and Bruce Brown had four fouls for a long time, so. Uh, we were just trying to get the mismatch and just try to attack them and try to get down downhill, and that's what it was. Um, they weren't trying to foul, so it was just getting easy buckets at that point. What was, how helpful was it to play alongside Rondo um, and just his veteran experience in, in these moments, especially with the how you two were facilitating and kind of running the floor? Yeah, it was good. Um, I mean, though he just sees the game uh, a couple steps ahead, so... Uh, we all just have to be on our toes. Um, he's all, you've got to just expect different passes and different actions with Doe. So it was fun just, just playing with him a little bit, and uh, especially with Kate Love in the game with a lot of mismatches, and he always seeks the mismatches. So it was, it was a good couple minutes and a good couple run with Doe. Kevin, for you, um, I mean, I'm going off the experience of just building off the experience aspect of it, seeing so coming in, um, bringing that. How can this be sort of like a kick? Would you would you take the top off for me? You would let me. Oh, you're crazy. That's crazy. Yo, I'm soaking. Man, look at this. And PJ. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> how, I guess, like, how did you see guys become more comfortable um, throughout the game? I guess, you know, like, through that first quarter, but, like, through the rest of the three. Um, and, then, and how important that is in these playoff games, finding that comfortability. Yeah, no, I think it was, I mean, really a lot. Like, last time, 
even that that we played them. I thought even in the first quarter we did a really good job of of you know taking it to them, putting them on their heels, and getting to the 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 bonus pretty early. It was just. You know, they got hot, they shot a high percentage, um, and 40 points is just too too much um, coming out of the gates. And, and 20, I mean, honestly, is, is too little. We just didn't have much going on the offensive end uh, in that first half, only 43 points. But, you know, we were able to, to pick it up. But, again, just that, that deficit was something that, you know, we can't dig ourselves a hole like that. Um, you know, so come, what do we play, Friday? Yeah, come Friday, we just, you know, out of the gate, we have to – you know, have an emphasis on both sides of the ball, but to, to, to really lock in on that defensive end and, and, and let that dictate what we do on the offensive end. Chris, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Darius, for you, how much more open did the court feel for you in the second half? Um, it wasn't open. It was we had mismatches. Uh, Curry had four fouls, Bruce Brown had four fouls, and those were the two guys that was guarding me most of the time. So just trying to be aggressive. Uh, made a couple shots. Um, we all made a couple shots, and um, that was that was the game. That was it. And then Kevin, you mentioned that there were some positives that you guys can take away from from this game. What were those? I mean, I honestly think the the last uh, again the last three quarters. There were there were some times where we beat ourselves uh, throughout the entire game. Uh, take away the the first quarter. Um, you know, there were opportunities for us to to you know kind of learn on the fly and, and and clean it up in I mean obviously the the dynamics of of who we're going to play on Friday will be different than in this game but in, in terms of you know us locking in on the defensive end and not beating ourselves um you know I think that that'll be key but I think offensively uh exploiting the mismatches as DG said playing you know downhill playing with pace um you know, and, and winning every quarter from the second quarter on, I think was a, a major positive for us. But again, those guys were rolling. Kyrie hit, you know, 12 for 15. Uh, KD still had his typical 25. But, um, you know, we just dug ourselves too big of a hole and, you know, played three good quarters. And that one uh, first quarter was the one that really got us. So I, I do think there was a lot to take away uh, that was positive and as well as everybody getting experience. But, uh, we just got to be ready to go Friday on our home floor. Toji. Uh, Toji Khan. Kevin, it seemed like in that second quarter. Uh, I think it was uh, between myself and 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 Doe, just keeping everybody together. Um, this team, like I say, we don't we don't necessarily need that too much. But in this you know type of a situation, whatever everything's so heightened, we just wanted to make sure that in, in every huddle that that we were there, we were talking, um, you know, continuing the communication. But these guys are professionals. Um, you know, it wasn't just us. It was it was really everybody just having an open dialogue. And uh, when that happens, it's it's incredibly healthy, you know, like good or bad. Just people learning from it, and you know, having those conversations is is, is key. And then you've seen uh, the arena go nuts. Uh, what are you expecting on Friday? That's it. I mean, we, we're going to need that. Um, you know, what twenty three thousand plus on our side. We're going to need that that place buzzing. So. Um, you know, I'm so used to calling it the Q, but you know, Rocket Mortgage is uh, we got to fill that place out. And we got to have the fans, you know, having our back, and I know that they will. And the final three quarters today give you guys confidence going into Friday. I think so. Um, you know, get out of here, get our rest, um, watch the game tomorrow, and then you know, have a proper game plan, which I know we will, uh, and we'll be ready to go for Friday. Mm -hmm. Tom. Thanks, PJ. I gotta ask you guys: Did you fold the stat line on the, on the box score on Kyrie's line? We'll never tell. Okay. No. Hey, um, no, we didn't. Gotcha. Hey, I, I folded over Darius's stat line. <laughs> you've uh, Kevin, you've seen Kyrie do that before. Um, was part of you like, oh, here we go? When you see him knock down like the first twelve jumpers. Yeah, I always say about Kyrie in a in a 
you know, March Madness one game type of situation. He's a tough guy to to to, to bet against. Um, you know, again, seen this movie before, but you know, still, I I, I think that um, you know, there's just times where he comes out and you know plays out of his mind, and that's you know why he's a, a future Hall of Famer. So you just kind of have to tip your hat to him. He's hit some really tough contested shots today. KD always, but you know, being six eleven, him shooting right over you is a different story. But um, you know, between DG and Kyrie, they hit some shots where you just shake your head and you just say, you know, no matter what kind of defense you play, they they make it work. Thanks, man. Marla.